Hi, welcome to Three Quick Questions with ENM. I'm ENM, and today I'm here. This is a first for Three Quick Questions, and we're here at a private location. I can't even tell you where we are. They uh, blindfolded us, drove us around for a while, and uh, the fans. The, That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just don't want you to know where anything is. So <laughs> it's going to be another three hours getting out of here blindfolded too. So. Uh, but my guest today, they're a band I, I recently saw, and from the first notes that I saw them, I was hooked. I know many people have been hooked on this band because they have just been voted on to the Warp Tour here in Southern California on their LA date. And there's no other band that deserves it more than this band. And they are my next guest. They are Super Black Market. If you have not heard, heard of them, you will. And let me tell you, this is a band that uh, if you're here for the first time, you swear you already heard them a thousand times. They're a CD that I put on and it's one of those where it's like, I've heard this before, this can't be new. And to me, that is a sign of a great album. And it hasn't been out of my CD player since. Nice. So yeah. I want to thank you for the great music. <laughs> and by the way, their new album is called Pray For War. And it was uh, produced by a person that they're playing with soon. Uh, I, I I probably will mess up the name. Uh, Dead Dean Chosen. Yeah. Dean Dean of Dead and Amelia. There you go. If uh, if you listen to their album, that's all I could say. First question I have though is: You guys are not originally from LA. You guys started out as Midwest. You have that Midwest sound. You're not a you're not a uh, typical mis Midwestern band. You're, you're a punk band out of the Midwest, which is kind of unusual. But then you guys came to LA and I hear you added a little Northern Lights to you guys. And uh, now you guys are, uh, like I said, you guys have been just voted on to the Warp Tour and you guys are going to do that. Can you tell me about how your fans voted you on and uh, how when when people come out to see you, where are you going to be playing on the Warp Tour? Do you? Okay. Well, Adam Adam actually put a lot of it together with uh, yeah. the Warp Tour I'll, stuff. So. I'll take it from here. Yeah, it was a website you enter, and there was several entries. I think there was uh, 530 plus entries for for this venue, and we were we were fortunate enough to have have some good fans vote us in there. So. Yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. I noticed that your band, your fans are very very loyal to you guys to get you on there, and that's always great to have. And the second question I have is uh, more of a, when I saw you guys, I uh, heard a song that blew me away called "American Girl" by Tom Petty. Yeah. I was talking to Joe after the show, and not only are you guys musicians, you guys are actually music fans. Yeah. You guys know your history. You guys respect the history of music. What are some of the inf who are some of the influences on you guys? And being from KC and being from Arizona, I mean not Arizona, excuse me, being from Alaska. How did you guys manage to find the same influences or bring those influences together? Well, a lot of the Eskimo aspects of our band that was brought from uh, the dog sled band, <laughs> he, he brought them down, and uh, so I mean, we actually wrote that song "American Girl" the night before we played it at the party. <laughs> it's not exactly like the Tom Petty song, but it's, it's just a coincidence, <laughs> really. <laughs> you know, Tom Petty is a huge. I mean, we're all on kind of a Tom Petty kick right now. We're we're writing a new album right now, so we're going back, and we just realized that, I mean, you know, we love a lot of new music. But you have to go back to that old stuff that, like, you know, your dad made you listen to, you know, forced down your throat whenever you were 11 years old. Like, Dad, I don't want to listen to the Rolling Stones anymore, you know? <laughs> Leave me alone. And then, you know, you just keep, uh, that's one of my big influences, the replacements and Rolling Stones and stuff. Ultimately, good songs are good songs, and there will always be good songs. So if it's written in the 60s, if it's written now, it's always going to be a good song. And that's really like the basics of all music is the best songs are just, doesn't matter how you play them. You could play them as a folk song, you could play them with one acoustic guitar, or you could play them with a full band and be hard hitting. They're still just going to be good songs. 
a good Eskimo song is always a great song. <laughs> the coldest song. What's that? The coldest song. The coldest song. The coldest song. <laughs> <laughs> and the third question I have is not only the Warp Tour, which get your asses out there and see these guys. And if you don't see them on the Warp Tour, definitely come out to any of their shows. You will, once you leave, you're hooked, line and sinker with these guys. But third question is where do people go to find out about the band, about where you guys are playing, and if they just wanted to give a shout out to you guys or say hi to you guys, where do they go? Uh, best place to go is usually the Facebook page, facebook.com slash superblackmarket. Um, we still update the MySpace, even though the MySpace is... Uh, it's a ghost town. It's, go it's ghost town now. There's uh, not a whole lot of people are using it anymore. It's which funny, I've heard of multiple bands like completely deleting their MySpace. And uh, just so it wouldn't be the first thing that would come up when somebody would search their band in Google. Mm -hmm. You know, because they just, you know, it's like... It's like going to a ghost town, like I said, you know, talking about weed, going across the screen, you know, some ad for a local gym, you know, it's, it's just weird, you know? So, um, it's just strange how it can shift from like three years ago, when, even when we first came out here, MySpace was still huge, and we got out here literally three years ago, August, uh, September 1st, 2008, so uh, he was a little bit before us. Just a little bit before you, yeah. A little bit before, yeah. Dog sled, you know? <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> So it's just weird how things shift, you know, you wonder how long is Facebook going to be able to keep up, you know, because they're kind of the leader in music right now, that people go and try to find the best way to show your music on there. We also have a SoundCloud, soundcloud.com backslash super black market, and then we're on Spotify, you know, Spotify is it's huge big, right yeah. now, and we're also on iTunes if they want to buy it, I mean, God forbid, buy it, buy it, buy it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so all kinds of different places. Yeah. Okay, and God forbid you buy it, oh, <laughs> then you're stuck with it, and if you're stuck with it, put it in your CD player, and then it's going to be stuck in your CD player like mine is. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a band that, I, I would say they're up and coming, but they're already up. They're hitting the uh, Warp Tour, they're doing a few other shows around LA, so I gotta say, go out and see them. I highly recommend them. I do not recommend bands that I do not like. So <laughs> if I don't like them, they ain't here. So as you can tell, they're here. So we're all good on that. And once again, I want to thank you guys for being my uh, being my guest on Three Quick Questions. Thank you, man. Uh, before you leave, we were talking a little bit before this, so I gotta just say, it's football season. <laughs> Anything you guys want to say? Yeah, the Chiefs, it's definitely not their year to win the Super Bowl or anything, but I think that they'll almost make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> but being a football fan I am, I had to do that bonus question. What about almost the Steelers? Three. What do you think? Yeah. Steelers, biased, back to the Super Bowl. The oh, Super Bowl. Man. It's going to be Bears Chiefs. <laughs> Bears, Bears Chiefs. Chiefs. <laughs> you know what, if it's a Bears Chiefs, I'm going for the Chiefs. I will go for that. The Chiefs deserve it. One of these years has to be the year. <laughs> and anytime you can knock the Raiders out, better. So all you Raider Raiders fans out there, you. like I'm you said, the Chargers. Right. Take Chargers, you're out. Chargers, Chargers, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not the Kansas City Royal uh, Royals, sorry guys, I put baseball on you guys. Said, <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. How do I screw up a football team? Uh, Kansas City Chiefs or Pittsburgh Steeler fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> but for three quick questions with ENM, please, please, I beg of you, go check out Super Black Market. Their fans voted them into the uh, fans' warp tour. That's all you need to know. They, they, they're worth it. They're, next year, they're not even going to be voted on. They're going to be asked to come back. That's my guarantee to you. So once again, with, for three quick questions with ENM, this has been ENM, Super Black Market, and we're out. Bye! Bye. This has been three questions with Super Black Mario! <laughs> <laughs>